Hello guys, so this is the Oppo A17 and in this video I will show you how to repair email or change email if you got your email block okay this is work on latest Android security patch in this one it's using Android 12 uh, on color S 12.1 okay I will show before and after uh, also will show you the steps and it is using a paid software it means that the free software doesn't support at this time so you have to have the dongle or you can pay remote service for this okay so before it doesn't have it it doesn't show the signal and we cannot use the sim card but after that we can use the sim card for internet connection and other stuff Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys. So, assalamualaikum. With again with Ombab. So, in this video, I will show you how to fix the email on Oppo device on Android 12 new security. Okay, so in here, I already have the Oppo A17. Let's go to the one right here <clears throat> yes this is the oppo a17 and the code name is cph2477 okay and okay so the the email is uh disabled so it means that uh it cannot use the sim card on my country okay although the pawn has uh, email and baseband but we cannot use it okay so the solution is to change the email using a tools okay first thing i want to show you that the email the is eighteen email you can see right here we have an email okay let's go back <coughs> and <coughs> let's check the version right here you can see we also have a baseband and the build number is a16 okay you can also use this tutorial on the newer version a22 23 and other stuff okay and next you can see in here we have a sim card but there is no signal Okay, let's go back and let's check the sim card i just want to show you that uh the sim card is working okay but you cannot uh you cannot show the network okay you can see right here it's using the indoset oredo so we have a sim card we have an email baseband but it doesn't work so the solution is to change the email okay <laughs> first thing i want to tell you that uh, this tutorial is using a dongle or pay tools so if you don't have it you cannot do it okay for this time the new security is only supported by paid software there is no free software when i'm making this video so if you need the uh, <clears throat> service from me you can contact me you can check the the link in the description box okay and let's go to the about point right here let's enable the developer options okay let's hit the build number five times go back go back again <clears throat> go to the system settings the proper option and we can see right here the OM unlock is still turned off okay let's turn it on then make sure you have remove all the email yes yeah the emails and other stuff and also lock out the op account then let's turn it off Okay, now we are in the desktop and I already opened the apps. Okay, it is called the FT Pro. As I said before, this is a paid software. 
it's not free and for this time there is no free software that support the security for mediatek device okay so let's go to the step i already read it in here first thing you need you need to do is turn off the pawn we already did it and then do unlock bootloader <coughs> okay you select the oppo realme service mediatek and select auto and then check list the unlock bootloader new security okay now let's hit the start button right here after that press the volume up volume down on the pond at the same time and then plug the usb cable okay let's try it and you can see right here now it's initiating and start the process okay let's wait until it finishes okay it usually takes about uh one to five minutes depending on the computer and now we're already done you can see right here the operation time takes about five minutes 48 seconds and after it finished the pawn automatically turn on and it's booted into the stock recovery okay first thing you want to do is format the data so let's go to the change the language format data tab ps set the code format and it will wipe the internal storage okay <clears throat> from here you can wait until it goes to the home screen or simply just force reboot the pawn again okay if you see the orange state right here just ignore it it is expected because we already unlocked the bootloader okay the next step like usual like before select oppo media tag and select auto <clears throat> from here insert your ma1 and 2 okay and then let's insert the email okay and then select the auto pads and select the email repair okay very good to go now hit the start button right here and then let's force reboot the pawn because i don't want to wait until it boots into the home screen okay let's black usb cable now for reboot press the three button volume up volume down and the power button until it until it rebooted and when the pawn rebooted quickly switch to the volume up and volume down okay like before and you can see right here it start initiating <clears throat> and if you have any messages like here do you want to make up make security partition backup just hit yes it will back up the important partition if there is something wrong <clears throat> we can always restore yeah it will back up the md1 boot image nv data and frame and other stuff okay just let's just wait okay encrypted email new email you can see right here the new email okay and let's hope the email working i don't know because i got it from the old pawn Okay then, <clears throat> operation takes about 1 minute 41 seconds okay. and you can see right here the pawn automatic reboot and we should wait again until it put it into the home screen. Okay, let's skip this one and now we are in the home screen, uh, sorry, 
the Android wizard and you can see right here now it's detecting the sim card okay all you need to do is hit next next until it goes to the home screen okay it automatically select indonesian language because i'm using the indonesian sim card okay let's just select english and hit next next until it goes to the home screen and here we go now we are in the home screen okay let's check the email if it changed or not okay nice and you can see there is a signal on our phone right now and now let's check the baseband also about device and where is it model oh, sorry android version uh, where is it forgot okay this is our email and <clears throat> model color OS version status oh, where is it Okay, so we have a working email, and you can see right here we doesn't have internet connection in this SIM card. So I will put another SIM card in here to test the SIM card. Okay, now it's already inserted. We're going to use the uh, SIM card one to test the internet connection. <clears throat> Where is it? <clears throat> Mobile network. And let's change settings. Okay, so internet using the SIM one and here we go okay nice let's open the chrome <clears throat> okay it's working you can browse using the sim card from the sim one <clears throat> okay where is it it's kind of like this one <laughs> Yeah, you can see right here the SIM card is working. Okay, and let's check the Wi Fi. I already tested the Wi Fi, is also working. There's no problem with the Wi Fi. Okay, you can see right here. So, all is done. Let's try to check the operator. Okay, zero triple eight. Okay, testing USD and it's shown the phone number. Okay, okay, that's all, guys. I hope it helps you. If if you find it helpful, you can buy me coffee using PayPal or Severia. Okay. So see you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum.